Hey, I'm Ladi and this is eBike 101. These strong e-bikes are a brand new category of transportation. It stands somewhere between a bike and a motorcycle. You can use it as a regular motorcycle just by adding throttle and choosing one of three power modes. You can pedal just like on any other bike, just with a weight difference. It's made out of a frame, battery, motor and BMS that stands for battery monitor system. On this particular model with 3.2 kilowatt hour battery, I was able to do 80 kilometers per charge on the highest power mode. These are strong. A friend of mine has a prototype that does 17 kilowatt peak power. He can do wheelies when riding 60 km an hour. Drifting, passing cars and leaving motorcycles behind is achievable because of its light weight. Average weight is around 65 kg and torque is incredible. You don't have to change gears so acceleration is just insane. Top speed depends on what motor you have but it's common to go up to 110 km an hour. One cool feature some bikes have is the ability to recharge the battery with regenerative braking. This battery has 18 650 cells, same standard that Tesla cars use. On average I charge with 1400 watts that takes around one and a half hours to charge or I charge for my solar panel slowly the entire day. The biggest benefits of these bikes is cheap transportation. Electricity is affordable and available everywhere. You can charge at home, work, cafes or public charging stations for cars. E-bikes don't require too much maintenance either. Most maintenance is similar to any other bike. You need to lubricate chain, replace brake pads or change tires. The price of these e-bikes can vary because it depends on which parts you want and who builds it for you. These powerful ones sell somewhere between 4,600 and 6,200 euro. If you are interested, send me a message and ask. We develop them, so sometimes we have few for sale. You can definitely build these bikes yourself. It's important to keep in mind, you will need sufficient knowledge of high voltage distribution, heat management, mechanical skills, torque distribution, batteries and preferably have a bike or motorcycle background. Remember, if you lack this knowledge, you're risking multiple fire hazards, explosions and electric shocks. If you decide to build an e-bike, you might appreciate a chart I created of all the parts with corresponding prices and links. Send me an email at the address below and I can share it with you for a few dollars. It's an ideal machine for local exploring, commuting or just hardcore riding. It's quiet and feels sophisticated compared to motorcycles. I especially love carrying them in our van and using them to explore new places for free. During the day they stay under the bed to charge via our solar panels 
or we can charge faster from the alternator when driving. This way the bikes are always charged for our next adventure. We travel with these e-bikes full time and if you want to see where we are riding them at this point, follow my girlfriend Margaret's Instagram at Curly Hair Camping. I'm a photographer so I mainly use them for location scouting and fun riding sometimes together. And you can find me on Instagram as Panorama Man. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time in another video.